I don't know if you've noticed here behind me, but my kitchen got a little facelift. And I'm here to tell you all about it today, especially because they cost under $100 to do our backsplash. I'm going to give you all the details, don't worry. What is up you, oh, I got a niche. What is up you guys, it is Carly here and you're officially cooking with Carly and today we are cooking up something that is not food. We're cooking up details on my brand new backsplash. It looks so good, right? So Dan, cameraman, husband behind the camera, he did this for me for our anniversary. We've been married officially nine years and this was his little gift to me. So. He figured it all out and he did the backsplash. It took him like a weekend to do it. Laying the tiles took like two days, but he could have done it in one, but he split it up into two. And then we grouted, I helped him grout in, I don't know, probably took just a few hours to grout. So overall, it wasn't a super time intensive project and we were both like floored at how cost effective it was also. And we actually got a bid from a few people to come in and just have like them tile it. So we pay somebody to come in and tile it. And it was going to cost like 600 or $700 plus we needed to supply all of the tiles. And so we added everything up and we were able to do the entire backsplash for $99 and 61 cents. So, that is like a lot of money saved right there, <laughs> you ask me. <laughs> so the things that we used first were obviously the tiles. We got all of this stuff from Home Depot, by the way. And Home Depot, they do sell like tile sheets that are all like stuck together. So you get like 15 of them. You just like put them up on the wall. We chose not to do that though, because we have like a lot of outlets. I don't know if you can see back there, but outlets that we have to cut the tiles around and so that was just like way too complicated so we got all of the tiles separate we used like a little over 200 of them and they were 15 cents a piece these are three by six ceramic tiles white they have different colors like they have i think almond is one or beige or something but we did the white we did borrow a wet tile saw from a friend and that is how we made, you know, the cuts to go around the outlets and in the corners and things like that. They're like $120 though, which after this project would be worth every penny if you're planning on tiling something. So if you don't have a friend to borrow it from, like we would, if we tile, if we ever tile again, we would probably just invest in one. And we also got a bag of these one eighth inch flexible spacers to put in between the tiles. So how Dan tiled basically he started in this corner over here and kind of started in the bottom corner and worked his way across and up at the same time. Um, and putting these spacers in between to make sure that everything was level and the grout lines were equal and everything like that. And these are reusable. So once everything is dry, you can pull them out, reuse them. There's like 500 in the bag and the bag was like five bucks. Again, super cost friendly. In order to get the tiles to like stick to the wall, you need to have some adhesive. So this is the adhesive that we used. We used like one and a half tubs and I'm pretty sure they were like $10 each. You can buy it that it's not mixed already, but this is already pre-mixed. So it was a little bit more expensive, but still not like expensive, but it's nice. So it's already mixed and you can just use the bucket with it in there and then toss it out. And yeah, it's convenient that way either put this onto the wall and then stick your tiles onto the wall or like in like the intricate parts, uh, we would just put it right onto the tile and then put the tile onto the wall. And we used this little guy to get the texture onto the wall so that it helps everything stick. So this is a one fourth inch by one fourth inch 
trowel is like five dollars so that's how big these spaces are here so if you're doing like bigger tile you'd want bigger spaces but since we we're just working with these little guys this is the one we needed so like i said earlier it took you know it was like two half days of work to get everything tiled and onto the wall with the adhesive and then we removed these things and then it had to sit for at least 24 hours before you grout and that's just you know on the back of this it just gave us the information if it's bigger tiles it needs to sit for up to 72 hours but since we were just using the little ones we started grouting at 24. Before we get talking about the grout, do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let me know down below if you have a tile backsplash in your kitchen, or if maybe you're being inspired right now to put one in your kitchen because it's really not that hard. As for the grout, we use the color Greystone, and to be honest, we just used leftover grout that we had from when the builders tiled like our bathrooms and stuff we had half of a bag left left over from them and we only used like half of what we had so we used maybe eight pounds of grout for the entire backsplash and i looked it up online and grout is really cheap you could get eight pounds for under ten dollars and the grout was interesting at first because we didn't think it was working but it really was and all of the videos that we had watched on youtube and like read about they were all using white grout so it looked a lot different when we started using our gray grout but essentially all we did was mix it up according to like the package directions and then we used these both of these tools this one's just like a grout float and this is just like a scraper to get it into the gap basically and then once we got the grout into the gap, we used this with a little, well, it was like damp. We got it wet and just wrung all the water out of it and just wiped at an angle to get the extra grout off, just so that in between the tiles it was nice and smooth, but the tiles still looked really gray, which kind of scared me. And we were like, I don't know if we're doing this right, but we just kind of went for it and then after it sat for like two hours we were able to just take a rag and polish the tiles and that gray came right off and the grout in between the tile was nice and smooth and even by doing it the way we did it it took i don't know a couple of hours to grout the whole thing it went a lot faster after we made it about halfway through because we felt a little bit more confident in what we were doing but it was not hard at all. The last step is caulking. So just caulking around the bottom and like the edges and corners just to make sure that everything is nice and watertight so no water can get in there and start growing something funky. <laughs> so overall, I am super happy with how it turned out. I can almost not even remember what it looks like or what it looked like before we did the backsplash. I love the darker grout. That was something we were kind of debating about going with a white grout or using what we had the darker. I'm super glad we went the dark. It matches like the veining in my countertops really well and my floors. I know you guys don't get to see my floors, but they are gray and it matches. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just excited because it was like, really cost friendly at least i feel and i feel like it totally upgraded and made my whole kitchen a lot brighter and i'm in here a lot of the time this is where i spend most of my time and i just am super pleased with the outcome that's it for today come back next tuesday for another new video